Welcome you guys. I've had a lot of requests for my current skincare routines. So today I am sharing my morning routine. A lot of it is the same. There are a few new products and there's another new routine which I'm actually gonna start off with and that is a routine on my chest. I have some hyperpigmentation. I don't know if you, yeah, I'm sure you can see it and it's not very pretty and so I'm working on this. And if you recall, the sensitivity of the skin from the face to the neck to the chest increases. So we can't use as strong of procedures on the decollete as we would on the face. And the same is true for skincare. We can't uh, use, for instance, a high dose tretinoin off the bat on the chest because the skin is just very delicate and we need to be a little bit more gentle with that. So I do a routine on my chest once a day, and it really doesn't matter when you apply a retinol if you're not gonna be exposing your chest to the sun. So if it's a beach day, you obviously don't wanna apply retinol before going to the beach, but it's not a warm day today and I'm gonna be fully covered up. So I will show you the retinol I've been using. It's the Elastin um, 0 0.5 retinol. This comes in a 0.25 and 0.5 retinol, but I find that this is such a gentle retinol. It's probably one of the most gentle retinols that I use. So it's really appropriate um, for the decollete. I get no redness, no irritation, no downtime. It's super, super gentle. So it's a little bit yellow in color, and I just apply it everywhere that I've got sun damage from years and years and years of exposure to the sun without sunscreen, to be perfectly honest. I didn't start using sunscreen until, until I got melasma from my pregnancy. So before that, I would use it occasionally, you know, on the first day of holidays when you know you're going to get a burn, but otherwise, the truth is I wish I could tell you that I did and I've been religious with it all my whole life, but that's just not true. Okay, so now that that's in, uh, I normally use one of my neck creams on here, but because I'm doing a retinol, I want something that's more nourishing and more protective, but also quite gentle. And so I use the Ultralight Moisturizer from Elastin also. This also has Trihex technology, so the peptides that help stimulate collagen and elastin. And this is quite, actually quite a heavy moisturizer from the line. So it's perfect when you're recovering post-procedure or when you're just trying to prevent, you know, dry out of the skin from retinol use. So. Then I apply this, and like I said, because today I'm gonna to be covered up, I just let this dry. And normally what I would do is I would do a little bit on my face. While that's drying, I'd apply a layer to my chest. Then while that's drying, I'd apply a layer to my face. But I wanted to kind of get this out of the way so that I can put on a shirt and do the rest of my routine. Okay, so that's it for the chest. Okay, so in the shower, I use the cleansing gel to wash my face. This has really become my absolutely favorite cleanser. And the only time I really deviate from this to the Zeo cleansers is when I'm in the mood for that really nice aromatherapy. The Zeo cleansers just have this wonderful smell. So from those, I will occasionally use the hydrating cleanser or the gentle cleanser, but really I have been loving this one and I'll tell you why. It's sulfate free, but it has a proprietary surfactant complex that cleanses your skin better than any other cleanser I have tried. It will take off heavy duty makeup. It will take off sunscreen. It just really is an incredible cleanser, but it's also very gentle. There's aloe and chamomile in here for soothing, and there's also glycerin in here for hydration. So even though it really deeply cleanses, it doesn't strip the skin. 
and it's good for all skin types. It doesn't have any alpha or beta hydroxy acids, so it's gentle, but it really cleanses very thoroughly. So I did that in the shower and that's where I'm, uh, oh no, I did one more step in the shower actually. So this is one of the new products I've been using. This is the Elastin Resurface, Resurface Skin Polish. And I have been using this for a couple of weeks now. It's kind of like the Zeo Exfoliating Polish, if you're familiar with it. It's purple in color, it's fragrance free, and I, you probably can't see, but it has little tiny granules that, I wonder if you can see it with the light, probably not. It feels very, very similar to the um, Exfoliating Polish from Zeo. The main differences are, it's purple, not blue, and it's uh, scent free. The scent in the exfoliating polish from Zio is from tea tree oil. This one doesn't have any oils in it. And uh, the difference is these are naturally derived particles from volcanic minerals that are engineered in a lab, meaning they're derived from volcanic minerals, but they're not just random crystals of various sizes that some may, you know, really scratch and micro tear the skin. Some are smaller, some are bigger. No, they, they take the volcanic rock and they formulate it in the lab to make all the particles exactly the same size and they choose what size those particles are going to be. So it's, while it's abrasive a little bit in to physically exfoliate, it's not so abrasive that it's going to damage your skin. And then when you add water to it, it just turns into sort of a creamy texture. And then you wash that off. It feels after it's rinsed off, it has a little bit more of that squeaky clean feel compared to the exfoliating polish from Zio. The Zeo polish leaves a little bit of that hydrated film on the skin surface. This one really doesn't. Perlite is the actual volcanic mineral that has been used to create this polish. And this polish also does have glycolic acid. So while it's physically exfoliating, it's also doing a little bit of chemical exfoliation. It also has phytoene and phytofluene, which are powerful antioxidants. And hopefully a little bit of that stays on the skin as you rinse this polish off. But I am really, really enjoying it. It is very nice. If you guys want to try it, I will leave a link down below to shop. Um, but it's worth a try. Um, you may love it more. You may prefer the Zeo exfoliating polish. Those are my two go-tos that I Okay, so after those steps, we move on now together. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the complexion renewal pads to uh, do a number of things. So uh, one thing I always say, if you're interested in saving money, you can cut these in half and that way they'll last you twice as long. It is recommended that these are used twice a day and that is exactly what I do and no, it's not too much exfoliation. So the reason why you want to use these twice a day is you've got your gentle exfoliation with alpha and beta hydroxy acids. But the other reason why you want to use these every, every time you're doing a skincare routine is because they remove oil. And people don't realize how absolutely important it is to remove oil. And if you really want to penetrate it deeper into your pores, you can soak the pad on your skin for a few seconds. Um, but oil prevents the absorption of skincare. You know, if you're an oil lover, no judgment, but if you want a better efficacy and absorption from your skincare, apply your oil last. I'm not a fan of oil because I know that it makes our skin lazy, it makes our skin think it's already produced oil, and it prevents good skincare from absorbing in. To the point where, if you've ever heard people say that they were on the hydroquinone prescription for skin brightening for hyperpigmentation and the hydroquinone didn't work, it's often because they're oily and the oil isn't penetrating the skin. 
to bleach it out. So oil is a big deal. It really, really prevents absorption from skincare. Now I will go along the chin here. I don't generally use this on my neck though because our necks are generally not oily. We don't have a lot of visible pores on here. So I find that these are a bit harsh for the neck, but for the face and especially your T-zone, I will, as you can see, I will go over it multiple times. So this is a love, a forever love relationship that we have here. Oops. Okay. Next, I will use my absolutely favorite Alto Advanced. Um, this says for professional use only, but it's exactly the same Alto Advanced that is available for sale. The only reason the sticker is on here is because when you buy a uh, pro, you don't get the packaging. So it's to reduce waste. They put the sticker on so you don't resell it. Um, but this is my absolute favorite vitamin C serum. It is a tetrahexyl decal ascorbate. So it's a vitamin C ester. So for those who are sensitive to L-ascorbic acid vitamin C, the vitamin C that has to be in an acidic pH, which is quite irritating to a lot of skins, this isn't like that. So it's at a neutral pH and it's perfectly safe to use on sensitive and rosacea skin. Um, it's a really, really fantastic antioxidant. It has 20 antioxidants and it also has aloe PPQ, which is a fancy name for a molecule. That's an antioxidant that's more powerful than vitamin C. So this is not only the best vitamin C serum, but in my opinion, it's the best antioxidant serum on the market, in my opinion. So, and I will bring this under the eyes. Most of the products that I'm using, you can bring under the eyes, which is very convenient because I've run out of my Interfuse eye and I don't have that one. I will also put this on my neck because we don't want a young face and an old neck. So always try to, if you're not gonna apply and dispense another pump of product for your neck, at least try to bring down whatever you can to just get the best possible uh, skincare and hydration on your neck as well. And then of course you know this, whatever's left goes on the backs of your hands. Old, old tried and true rule. Next, this is also a new product. I've been using the Illuminate from Elastin. This is relatively new. I do have a video just on this product. So if you're interested in that, I will link that down below. And if you want to try it, I'll, leave, I'll also link the shopping link down below. This is a pretty phenomenal product because it works on the pigmentation process from the gene expression level all the way through to breaking up pigment that's already been produced. So it works on the cellular level in terms of genetic coding. Then it works on the, um, the vascularity, the blood flow to the pigment producing cells to calm them down. Then it works on just calming down the hyperactive pigment cells. Then it works on interfering in the pigment producing pathways as a tyrosinase inhibitor, which is one of the steps in producing pigment. And then it helps just reduce the pigment that's already there. And the most impressive thing about this product is that when it was, when they did research trials, they compared it to hydroquinone. That's a pretty big deal. That That's pretty good research. And this product outperformed the hydroquinone and it wasn't irritating like hydroquinone. And so the results were phenomenal. The one thing I will say, cause I'm feeling it right now, is if you are on a strong retinol or tretinoin, when you put this on, it stings. And it stings way more than Skin Better's even tone. Um, it hasn't caused irritation in, sen in the sense of redness or flaking or anything like that but you do feel a little bit of a <laughs> sting when you first apply it. So I don't put this underneath my eyes because I don't have pigmentation there, but my main area of 
pigmentation concern is cheeks, the highlights where the sun hits the face really, so the cheeks primarily. And Bexa hands because the sun hits our hands all the time. Okay, so we are almost done. Last to lock in all this moisture is Trio. This is one of my favorite hydrators. It helps rebuild and restore and protect the, um, the skin barrier. And it is a functional hydrator, meaning that it's not like the classic hydrators you're gonna find at Sephora or the grocery store where they're full of oils and emollients and you apply it and you just feel like you've just hydrated your skin. This is more like an assistant to get your skin to stop being lazy and start producing its own hydration. So sometimes when people first try this, they let me know that I'm still feeling dry. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if this is enough hydration. And more often than not, it's because their skin hasn't woken up yet and started behaving like young, healthy skin that hydrates from within and produces the all the hydrating. Imagine that one hyaluronic acid molecule can hold like a hundred or a thousand um, water molecules. So hyaluronic acid is very hydrating. Now your skin produces hyaluronic acid. So imagine that you only have one hyaluronic acid molecule, which obviously you don't, but for simplicity, and then using functional hydrators over time causes you to produce two hyaluronic acid molecules and then four and then eight. And then suddenly you have so much of your own hyaluronic acid deep in the dermis that as the blood flows by and the lymph flows by, that hyaluronic acid traps the water and holds onto it. So it's hydrated from within. And then this keeps the skin barrier strong so then that water can't get out and it can't evaporate because there's no, it's called transepidermal water loss and this prevents it. So the skin is nice and sealed on the outside. It's a strong, you know, wall or fence and the hydration is rich within. And that's the difference between a functional hydrator and a regular moisturizer. And I've been talking so much I can't remember if I applied this or not, but I think I haven't. So I generally do two pumps of all of my Skin Better products. And this is, I just took a bit, but that's about how much you get. And that's enough for your whole face. So we'll just apply our hydrator and I will, sometimes I'll apply this to the neck. Um, and sometimes I'll just use uh, one of my neck creams. Again, it's like eye care, neck care. It depends. Do you want to bring everything down or do you want to have a designated product? And that depends on your desire, your uh, time that you have available in the bathroom and your budget. So personal preference. And lastly, Techno Neck. The neck cream that increases blood flow to the skin helps absorption of nutrients and really hydrates and really helps with techno neck um, or tech neck, tech neck, sorry. So I already applied my Alto Advance to my neck, my 20 antioxidants. And now this is gonna help those 20 antioxidants get absorbed even better. And even if I didn't use the Alto, this is still just by itself a really great neck cream. So we're going to apply that. And if you're, if you want to be like an esthetician and do the right thing, you will always apply your neck care up against gravity because our neck and our skin falls all day long by being pulled by gravity. So we can counteract the forces of gravity for the few minutes that we apply our skincare. So that's basically it. While I'm applying this, my skin is drying so I can apply my sunscreen. I, my, I can't believe my hair is nearly completely dried. That, that needs to get taken care of. So last we have sunscreen and we're going to use, actually no. So just to add a little hydration to the eye, 
I'm going to use the Zeo Growth Factor Serum for the eyes. This one is fragrance free, not like the one for the face. It comes in a dispenser like this. I guess this is a relatively new product for me, although I have had it for quite a few months. You don't even need a full pump. Like, I don't know if you can see. It's just a, a little bit on there. That's really enough for both eyes. And I just dot it. You really don't need a lot. And then you can spread it with the cool tip. It feels really nice. Um, or you can just do it with your finger. If you have the time or if you have one of those little fridges in your bathroom, this feels so good if you keep it in the fridge before you use it. But I don't have one of those. Okay, so then I always, I always end up finishing off with my fingertips because I feel like I can tell where the product is and where I want to spread it. Okay, lastly for sunscreen, we're gonna have three products. I'm gonna use the Flex. This is my foundation equivalent, except it's SPF 50. It has, um, it protects from infrared. It protects from blue light. It's 100% mineral, but it's got a PA rating of four plus, which means it has maximum protection from UVA rays. And spring is here, summer's around the corner. We're getting more and more sunshine. And UVA rays are the ones that cause aging, damage, uh, collagen breakdown, uh, all, all the things that have to do with sun damaged, wrinkled skin. So you really want a really good UVA protection. And if you're shopping for sunscreen, you will realize many brands don't even give you a, well, first of all, they may not even have UVA protection. They just give you the SPF, which is only UVB light protection. So if you're looking for sunscreen, many won't have UVA protection. Uh, and those that do won't give you the rating. So you have no idea if it's just like a smidge of protection or if it's really good protection. So the way you can tell, this is my icky dirty bottle right there. It says PA and then there are four pluses on there. Four pluses are the maximum PA rating, meaning it's the most protection that's possible to create, I guess. Um, so the most of the color science sunscreens are PA4 plus and all of the Skin Better Science sunscreens are PA4 plus. This one is old, it usually comes out white, but mine is older, so it's got more color. I've got my new bottle, but I wanna finish this one before I move on to the new one. Then I've got my handy dandy total, color science total. I, see, there's a fluff, I bet you that's what's making my nose itchy. Um, this is uh, so many different things. It's for your under eye area. It hydrates, it's a primer, it's a sunscreen, and it's a concealer. So it's everything in one. And this shade, I think, I'll show you, it's too dark for me, and I need to get a lighter one. They, they make one that's called Fair, and I think that's the one I need, but this is what I have for now. I don't like to waste, so. I'll finish it before I buy a new one. It's really hard to do this in my camera. I'm gonna switch over to the mirror for one second. There you go. So it brightens, it covers, it conceals. I don't know if you can tell. I think this side looks much better than this side. Last, uh, an extra, this is a tip and it's something I've been doing that I love. Uh, the color balms from color science this one is in the shade berry these uh you can put them on your lips you can put them on your eyes you can put them wherever i put them on my cheeks and i find that way i get double protection right at the high points where the sun really hits the face so i've been using these as blush and i honestly can't even remember the last time i used a a conventional blush because why when you can just get more sunscreen on your face And you can blend these in with a brush, with your finger, with a sponge, whatever, whatever you like. So when I'm lazy and in a hurry, I find my fingertips are 
just the easiest. And there we go. So that is my morning skincare, decollete care, and sunscreen care. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them down below. Uh, if you want to shop any of these products, I will leave links down below. And have a great rest of your day, evening, night, whatever time zone you're in. Bye.